welcome back to Crock-Pot Empire. I'm Kimberly Bishop and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making rice in the Crock-Pot Express multi-cooker on pressure cooker mode. I'm going to show you how to cook white rice, jasmine rice, brown rice, and I'm even going to show you how to jazz it up a notch and cook mushroom rice and yellow rice. So come on and join me. Let's get cooking rice five different ways in the Crock-Pot Express multi-cooker on pressure cooker mode. We're going to start off by cooking plain white rice. You're just going to need one cup of long grain rice that's been rinsed until the water runs clear in a fine mesh strainer. Add the rice along with one and one fourth cup of water to your inner pot. You want to make sure all the rice is covered. Put your lid on lock. Turn your valve to the sealing position. Press the rice button. It will auto populate to 12 minutes and press start. When the timer goes off, do a natural pressure release for 10 minutes and then let out any additional steam by turning your valve to the venting position. Unlock the lid and you have nice, fluffy, white rice that's perfectly and easily cooked in the Crock-Pot Express multi-cooker. This is absolutely foolproof and makes perfectly cooked rice every single time. I can't wait to put some soy sauce on that. Yum! Okay, I know a lot of you might be wondering, do I really have to wash my rice? It seems like an unnecessary extra step. Yes, washing your rice does relieve a lot of the starch from the rice before you cook it, so it makes a more fluffier rice. I've tested this both ways, and they both came out great. So I say, if you have the time to rinse and soak your rice, go for it. But if you're feeling a little lazy, that's okay too. This is a judgment-free zone. It may be a tad bit stickier, but it will still turn out great. If you do decide to be lazy and not wash your rice, I highly recommend spraying your inner pot with cooking spray. But again, I tried it both ways, and if you don't, don't worry. It will still turn out just fine. Okay, now that we've addressed the age-old question of to rinse or not to rinse, let's move on to jasmine rice. We're gonna add one cup of rice and one and a fourth cup of water. And then we wanna just make sure all of our rice is covered and spread out, not sitting all on top of each other in one spot. Place your lid on lock, set the valve to the sealing position, press the rice button, the time will auto-populate to 12 minutes, and press start. When the timer goes off, do a natural pressure release for 10 minutes, and again, you have perfectly cooked jasmine rice. And now let's make an easy version of yellow rice. We're just going to need one cup of white rice, but this time, instead of water, we're going to use chicken broth. And then we'll just follow the same steps, just as we have before cooking white rice. And now the secret step to make this yellow rice yellow is food coloring. You're gonna need about 15 drops of yellow food coloring, and then give it a big stir, and keep stirring until the coloring is well combined, and your rice is this deep, nice shade of yellow. And voila, just like that, you have easy yellow rice, that will look beautiful plated with any entree. And now it's time for mushroom rice. We're gonna add one cup of rice, one onion that's been magically chopped, one can of French onion soup, one can of beef consomme soup, or you can substitute beef broth in its place, and one four ounce can of mushrooms. Put your lid on lock, turn your valve to the sealing position, do a natural release for 10 minutes and then let out any additional steam. Open your lid and you have delicious mushroom rice. Give it a good stir. Serve this with some creamy chicken or pork chops and you'll have yourself a yummy meal. And now it's time for brown rice. The rice to water ratio still stays the same even though it's brown rice. The only change is the cooking time. So we're gonna add one cup of brown rice and one and one fourth cup of water. Make sure all the rice is covered with water. Place the lid on lock, set the valve to the sealing position, press the rice risotto button, adjust the time to 23 minutes, and press start. When the timer goes off, do a natural pressure release for 10 minutes, open the lid, and you have perfectly cooked brown rice with a nutty flavor and a medium chewy texture. If you like this video, please go give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, as well as that notification bell so you never miss an episode on Crock-Pot Empire. And please, keep your recommendations and comments coming. I love hearing from all of you. I wouldn't be here without you. 
and let's get social. Come find me on social media at Crockpot Empire, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest, where I'm always posting my life, favorite products, and even more recipes. Thanks so much for watching. See you right back here next time on Crockpot Empire.